Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, it is I am the one and only Maxi here once again, and I'm back for yet again for the likes of the Maxi Toys videos, as always. So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back for some more of Let's Play of Kirby and the Forgotten Land for the Nintendo Switch. So yeah, it has been a couple of days ago, actually, since we've last touched this game, but I'll explain more details about that in a second. So yeah, last time, I believe we did manage to able to take care of the forms of those two levels from the likes of the forms of Isolated Isles, Forgo Dreams, which are by the forms of Forgo Plains, as well as the forms of Forgo Bay. So overall, we did manage to able to accomplish both of those levels no problem, so either way though, I have no issues from there. So today, for this video, is the fact that we are going to be moving on onto the next level in terms of Isolated Isles Forgo Dreams, and this time we're going to be hit on to Forgo Park. So in this case though, this is obviously based off of Wanderer Remains World from the likes of the forms of the main game. So in this case, here we go, onto Forgo Park. So, yeah, and hopefully we'll be able to actually obtain several of more of those Leon's souls before we do anything else to be more specific. So, yeah, you probably get the idea of how this is going to turn out. Especially noticeable about the fact that, well, as far as you probably already know something right from the start, though, is the fact that the uploading schedules for this game at the moment right now is actually a bit different this time. Because, uh, remember what I said before, back in the forms of in the last video on this? That is the fact that I did originally did say that I'll see you guys on Tuesday, which is specifically today. So it turns out that uh, the uploading schedules for the sake of time for Kirby and the Forgotten Land will be every now and then is going to be uploaded on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Or to be more specifically, this week, along with the forms of by the end of May. Because the reason why I say things like this is mainly because, well, I think I should probably let uh, Pac-Man... Uh, you know, Ray and Mighty the Armadillo were able to talk more details about that specific uh, change for the uploading schedule at this point in time until when they go back on to uh, The Simpsons Hit and Run because obviously since yesterday there are three of these uh, toys are about to be able to toggle for that game. So just in case they're able to actually get a lot of emphasis on commentary and stuff like that, well, most of the time, if they're able to actually just to go on to the finish of the round. But yeah, you know, you get the idea of how this go turns out to be, so... So yeah, uh, today's day is of course the, uh, the 3rd of May today, in this case in 2022 today. So it looks like about the fact that until tomorrow, that we're about to be able to get into the forms of the... The Star Wars Day tomorrow, which means, may the Force be with you. Or, to be more specifically, may the 4th be with you. So, yeah, you probably get the idea of how the fact... I'm pretty sure that uh, Ray the Flying Squirrel has already mentioned about that specific uh, catchphrase during the course of in yesterday's video from The Simpsons Hidden Run, as you probably already know at this, uh, at this point in time. So, yeah, you get the idea about that. So, and also during the forms of in tomorrow, we'll be expected that I'm also able to actually play some Mario Kart Tour again, while able to actually play through uh, Dr. Tour, so just in case I can able to actually just have some fun playing uh, Coconut Mall again, despite the fact that we have to go into terrible controls again after playing a really, really damn good uh, impression on the forms of the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Because obviously, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, to me, had more, much more better controls than uh, Mario Kart to me, though. Just because it was on the smartphones and all that stuff. Which, to be expected for the most part, so... But I digress. And, um, something's worth mentioning for this point as well. I'm pretty sure that, um, the other toys has already mentioned about this ever since and yesterday as well. For the sake of the forms of, uh, The Simpsons Hidden Run. That, uh, some, uh, YouTubers out there... Well, as far as at the moment right now, only two YouTubers most likely, they've already managed able to technically actually access to the game My Little Pony and Mayor Time Bay Adventure. Although, to be more specifically, the version they're playing on is the PlayStation 4 at the moment, because as far as I'm aware, when you start the game off, then basically it just gets like a, uh, a little bit of a guide uh, control for... Uh, you know, as far as the actual uh, HUD display was actually PlayStation 4, in this case DualShock 4 controller. So, eventually when that game usually comes out on multiple platforms, then I can assure to you it will display not only Xbox One controller or Xbox Series X controller, but also maybe Joy-Con controllers for the Switch. 
or even Pro Controller for the Switch or something like that. We have no idea yet though, mainly because I think we've only got about just exactly about uh, 24 days to go until that particular game actually comes out for multiple platforms, so... Yeah, you probably get the idea about that, but uh, as far as they've already said this already about the fact that they stumbled across the actual glowing issues they've somehow come across into, such as for instance with the forms of, well the shading is not too bad, but as far as the forms of everything else goes, mainly due to the forms of, let's just say, some lip syncing was actually not usually match up on the forms of the in-game dialogue sequences, well, at least thankfully for the forms of several of uh, cutscenes, that uh, usually that the lip syncing does match, so... But as far as I'm aware for this point, I think that's as far as I can say about it. And thus, as far as I can usually can tell for this point, uh, both the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One versions of the, the entire game, as far as I mentioned this in the moment, uh, earlier ago, basically it were able to contain not only achievements, but also trophies as well. So, to be expected for the most part. Now, I get the strong sense of feeling, that getting those trophies might actually be kind of easy to obtain, because obviously this is a kid's game, of course. Especially noticeable because it's been made by, uh, outright games, because I was expecting about the fact that, well, they've uh, obviously made other games based off from several franchises, ranging from, uh, you know what I mean, Hotel Transylvania, and as well as the forms of other games I don't usually care about for, mainly probably because I usually never actually heard about that particular company before. Well, mind you, because I'm more into Nintendo stuff more than anything, so... Anyway, so we need to be very careful right here, especially noticeable that once again we need to utilize the light bulb mouthful Kirby right here, so just in case we can able to actually see not only crumbling platforms, but also that uh, every once in a while there might be certain enemies trying to able to charge at me, so... Which, unfortunately, I haven't exactly react to in time, but that's okay, because regardless of everything else, though, it's the fact that we can able to actually expect that we got ourselves our double health, so... At the very least, that's that, so... And also, during the forms of the fact that, yeah, I did manage to able to play a bit of Mario Party 8 on my own time, so just in case I can able to actually just do grind for more of those, uh, carnival cards and stuff like that before I able to actually purchase everything throughout the majority of Mario Party 8. So we can able to expect that I'll, uh, although at the moment right now that we pretty much onto the, the final board in Mario Party 8 so far, which is of course Bowser's Warped Orbit, which I'll save that, uh, discussion, enjoyed it specifically in this weekend, so... And unfortunately, I keep on losing a lot of health right there, because I somehow keep on falling off by no disorderable reason, but... Regardless of such, though, we can expect that we can able to actually just to get three more Leon Souls here, so, uh... At the very least, we did manage to get that. Oh yeah, of course, as far as I'm aware, at least if I'm guessing correctly, that uh, every once in a while is the fact that the level's length, specifically when it comes to forms of forego planes, or to be more specifically, uh, isolated aisles, forego dreams, as far as any other levels coming up, it might actually be felt a bit slightly lengthy, I guess, probably because of how the fact that if you really want to be able to rescue uh, Leon, after all, oh god, okay. That's fine by me, because either way, though, we actually ended up in this bit, so... And hopefully we should be able to get ourselves not only... Hold on, let me just uh, distract those uh, light-based uh, Gordos here. So just in case we can be able to get ourselves our treasure chest, contains obviously the final three of those uh, Leon Souls on that segment. So that should be all... goes all fine and dandy and everything, so... Alright, so there's a star coin right there in case if I need it for uh, later down the road for the entire game for buying certain items here and there. Well, at least for the most part anyway, so. Alright, we just need to be very quick on this part because if you activate that switch, there's a Leon soul over there. However, if you don't make it at all, then obviously you're going to have to able to... Um, I would say try to able to commit it suicide and then try it again. At least as far as I can usually try to think about that for the sake of convenience that is. And I'm pretty sure you have to do this like twice. So it's not, at the very least it's not too uh, 
taxing and all that stuff though so we can able to actually just to accept it so because i get the strong sense of feeling is the fact that if the one of those leon souls managed able to get into the actual spikes basically they'll be gone forever and son of a biscuit ah there goes my uh my first half of the health stupid snake well, not literally the actual s solid snake, but usually the, this particular enemy right there just somehow managed able to throw me off a little bit. But anyways, let's go ahead and obtain the rare stone right here. So at the very least, we can able to save that for later for, you know, upgrading some more copy abilities and stuff like that. Well, to be more specifically, well, as far as I realized about something is the fact that, well, as far as I, like I said this already, I'm pretty sure I'm missing uh, the final two scrolls, including by the forms of the third and final scroll. Well, mind you, about the fact that we will uh, talk more details about that later. So in this case, though, let's go ahead and uh, obtain some more of those uh, green star collectible shard things. So just in case we can able to actually, hopefully, we can able to get ourselves our next Leon's soul piece. So at the very least, we did manage to able to accomplish that. <clears throat> Excuse me, I've got something tingly in my throat there, so I do do apologize for that. So, um, again, I was, I was originally trying to able to expect to try to mention more details about other things to able to discuss. Although, apart from the fact that we're relatively speaking, oh, this is actually new. In fact, no matter what though, I think this section is going to be, uh, almost like a labyrinth maze. So in this case though, we need to... Uh, you know, just try to able to follow the directions, and then basically we need to find, uh, the way that we need to able to actually get the actual Leon Souls in certain segments of this maze. So, for the most part though, that's as far as I can usually try to explain about the, for this, uh, segment right here. Although most of the time, that you were able to actually stumble across these particular alien cardboard inserts, so that it just decides to able to block your path. But regardless of such though, these things aren't too much of a, uh, a difficult task to do so in this case though let's use the bombs here so just in case we can able to actually access to another soul here because yeah it feels like that we've almost nearly at the end of that particular uh leon soul department well at least to be more specifically we are to the uh almost to the halfway point well at the very least after we're done with this level then we can pretty much expect of what this is going to happen so yeah that pretty much summarizes it for the such right there so anyways, let's just, uh, oh yeah, that's essentially leads me back there, so let's not be worried about that right now. Activate the bomb block, so just in case, we can able to actually just to uh, get ourselves our next soul. And I get the strong sense of feeling, let's suck up the, uh, the crash enemy, so just in case we can able to, don't want to get a massive explosion. And from here, we can now able to actually not only get the last three of those Leon souls in that segment, but also the Warp Star, which pretty much leads you to the boss. So, and uh, hopefully we'll get the last five of those souls in the entire stage. Which should be expected by this point, because uh, relatively speaking, we're actually doing pretty good for the sake of the forms of some progressioning for, uh, you know what I mean, with isolated aisles and stuff. Phantom Chlorine. So in this case though, she looks really, really creepy from the looks of all that stuff. So yeah, you get the idea. You get out to able to utilize a lot of emphasis on quick dodges. So just in case you can able to actually just to deal quite a lot of amount of damage to her. Well, to be more specifically, if you try to utilize Meta Knight Sword like I am doing right now, basically it deals like good chunks of damage for, uh, you know, Phantom Chlorine and stuff like that, which is always pretty swell. Although, she attacks much more faster now, so don't expect things to be a little bit easier for you. And then if you get to the halfway point, she now um, technically activates like double team move from the likes of one of those Pokemon move sets. So in this case though, we need to be very careful and yeah, you don't able to attack the uh, these three fake ones, only attack the real one, which I think the real one is always going to be last. So in this case though, let's just go ahead and finish her off as soon as we can able to do ridiculous amount of quick dodges from her attacks so sometimes again that the phantom variations of some of these uh boss fights might take a while to beat them down until we're able to actually find out there was actually the best copy ability in the whole entire game not just by the forms of the actual any ability but for upgrade standpoints so but then again i will uh, point it out whenever we get into it so and there she goes 
For a moment there, I've almost died for a second there, because even then, though, relatively speaking, that, uh, thankfully with quick dodges and stuff like that, shouldn't be, uh, shouldn't be too hard, so... Anyway, so let's go and get the, uh, the next five of those Leon Souls, and that pretty much concludes Forgo Park. Pretty cool world, or to be more specifically, a pretty cool level to be able to go through, so, yeah, that pretty much explains it from here. And we got 51 souls, so at the very least, I'm pretty sure we're on the halfway point already right now, for the sake of the forms of, uh, well, isolated isles for Go Dreams. So, yeah, pretty swell, I have to say. And as far as I'm aware, the next level is going to be based off from Winter Horns, so... Just get it because you know we're going back into a winter wonderland and stuff like that so yeah that pretty much explains it so okay so the next level we're going to be hitting to is none other than forgo horns and like i said before this is based off from winter horns world so yeah to be expected for the most part so and I get the strong sense of feeling that the game might actually get a bit tad difficult every now and then. Well, I would not certainly not, not usually call it impossible per se, but uh, usually I think it's going to be uh, quite easy when you get the hang of it, so... It's going to, ha going to have to make sure of about the fact that I'm going to have to, like, double check on certain areas. I do apologize for that tongue twist in the end, folks, because... Uh, let's be honest here, there's not much else I can honestly try to speak of. Well... I was originally trying to say that uh, until I found out recently about the fact the matter is though is the fact that Capcom is going to be working on the forms of that particular presentation coming up during the forms of this month, to be more specifically the 10th of May, now it's the forms of the actual latest updates for the event for the likes of Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak DLC, in this case the last brief information until before that particular expansion comes out. So in this case though, it might be still releasing until uh, this coming June, specifically June the 30th. So in this case though, there's not much anything else different about it, apart from the fact that in that particular moment, where I think that will be the final time we're going to be able to hear certain uh, new infos in terms of the forms of uh, Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak before that particular DLC comes out. Uh, I guess there might be something to behold for fans. Well, I'm alright with this, especially noticeable about the fact that, well, I was expecting they were able to actually bring out something new for, uh, you know, Nintendo-based, uh, uh, presentations and stuff like that, but we'll just see what happens and during that some point until next month, despite the fact that this year's E3 has been sadly cancelled, so... But, uh, we're able to actually just try to get the, uh, get the just of it, I guess, so... Anyway, so let's take down those bombers here, and uh, that way we can able to activate the uh, the vending machine mouth uh, full mode. So, but before we do that, let me just go ahead and quickly uh, deal with those uh, kaboos right here. And uh, if we touch that shiny spot, then this will activate the staircase, which actually leads us to, of course, another Leon Soul. So, you pretty much expect. <sighs> That was a close one, because I was going to fall off and lose a bit of health. But anyway, let's just uh, use the actual vending machine here. Now I've realized that we actually got a lesser amount of cans than he forms of how it does it from before. I think I get the obvious of why. It's probably because you don't want to use it too much, because if you use it too many times, then there's no way you can able to grind them, unless if you're able to die in a level. Well, speaking of dying, though, is the fact that, well, relatively speaking, if you accidentally die, on, uh, you know, in any other levels from Isolated Isles, uh, you know, Forgo Dreams. Well, what happens is, is the fact that you got to able to collect all these things again. So it's just like New Forms of Power does it in, uh, uh, the majority of other Kirby games, for sure. To be more specifically with, like, uh, Kirby's Return to Dreamland for the sake of the Energy Spheres and also Sunstones in Triple Deluxe and, uh, Code blocks for the likes of the forms of Planet Robobot, even especially noticeable with star coins from the likes of the forms of the majority of the new Super Mario Bros. games. Although, I will also include the star medals from the likes of Super Mario 3D Land as well, and maybe potentially the Wii U version of Super Mario 3D World. Not so much on the Switch version because, well, obviously the Switch version does manage to fix your progress if you somehow 
uh, obtain a green star and then if you somehow die while you're able to obtain a green star from the very gap go then at the very least your progression does save so technically speaking as such anyway so let's go ahead and uh, get another soul here so just in case we can able to utilize the hammer for you know doing multiple things like you know attack or just trying to able to bash those little nails and on top of that, with that particular ice cube that has somehow frozen up the actual, uh, the nail. And then basically we can able to easily melt like that while you try to charge up the hammer. And also I found out it was actually pretty cool as well, is the fact that you can able to actually charge up your hammer while you're able to actually jump as well, which is pretty interesting, so... And then, despite the fact that I just lost my hammer ability, thanks to that particular enemy over there, which I somehow did not deal with him, because obviously I'm just gonna have to focus and then try to move forward and stuff like that, so... Alright, so... Let's grab another soul, and of course, we can never forget that particular capsule. So hopefully we can able to expect that we'll come across into something that's a little bit more... Well, should I say, valuable, I guess? Oh, speaking of the forms of uh, those specific capsules that it does contain certain figurines, there might be some other figurines that are quite random, like I said. But, luckily though, on certain other figurines can be required for specific uh, conditions. So, even then though, I'll talk more details about that if we manage to be able to get into the next part. Well, to be more specifically, for this coming first day, well, not so much any forms of it next week or the week after, because I'm going to save the last two parts, or I don't know about you, because I don't want to be able to spoil things majorly just yet, though. Because as far as I'm aware, it's the fact that, like I said before, that we're pretty much almost done with this game, basically. So it's just a fact the matter is, though, we've still got whole things to go through, especially noticeable with how the fact that we still need to grind, you know, for more star coins if we decide to buy something for its gotcha machines, and also on top of that, with the forms of those specific, uh, you know, Leon souls to get, so, yeah, you pretty much expect how this is gonna turn out, so. And also I found out something as well, is the fact that as far as what, uh, Ray the Flying Squirrel, or Mighty the Armadillo, or even Pac-Man has already mentioned about ever since in The Simpsons Hit and Run Let's Play, is the fact that in addition with how the fact that SpongeBob SquarePants was actually now 23 years old, but also I found out as well, at least as far as I'm guessing so correctly, that uh, The Loud House was actually now 6 years old, well, I definitely heard about it, but I've never actually experienced a show for myself. Probably it's because it's not my interest, so... But that's probably just me anyway, though, and thus I might be biased when it comes to, uh... You know, certain, uh, series I do enjoy, and some series I wasn't exactly thrilled with. But, regardless of everything else, though, that m I might be biased when it comes to those, uh, specific, uh, TV shows and stuff like that, so... Because, you know, relatively speaking, I'm still waiting for, uh, you know, Make Your Mark, My Little Pony, uh, you know, series to be able to be come out, including the special or any forms of this month, so, at the very least, there might be something that's a little bit more exciting to behold, so. I just get a strong sense of feeling there might be nothing on to the far left, so, in this case, though, yeah, I just have no idea why I just, uh, fell down here, but that's only mainly because, again, uh, if I somehow missing something here, then I can obviously just backtrack for a bit and then just, well, try to find it for that way, so. Anyways, let's take down this guy, and then, uh, let's try to do this. And hopefully, we'll get ourselves another soul just up there. So yeah, I think that pretty much concludes that particular area, so we can be able to move on. Although, every once in a while, I'll just grab the only one in particular star coin for as a currency, but... Oh god, this is what I figured it is. The battle at Blizzard Bridge. Although, except the fact that, well, as far as you already know, that there's no uh, mission objectives this time. So, at the very least, that's a good thing. So, but I get the horrible feeling about the fact that, well, relatively speaking, well, nothing horrible per se. But to be more specific, I just get a strong sense of feeling that we might be able to fight against with the exact same uh, mini bosses again, except the fact that all new forms of a different uh, um, aesthetics and stuff like that. Well, it usually takes place in the exact same aesthetic level, but with a different coat of paint, I guess. Well, I've no idea why I just somehow managed to mention about that stuff though, but 
Oh god, we have to do with the thumbs that Gustav went right there. So, you know what that means? I think I should probably use the twin drill for this one, because I was expecting if I was trying to be able to use, uh, you know what I mean, with dragon fire and stuff like that, but I think I should probably go for the drill for the best, because, well, to be more specifically, it deals some bit of damage. And also, I get the feeling about the fact that in order to be able to actually get the last few, uh, well, let's just say the Leon souls for that part, is the fact that we need to be able to grab the, uh, the pieces of the star shard, so, yeah, I can get the guarantee by that. Well, you get one as soon as you're able to done with the forms of the mini boss fight endurance run, so I get the feeling that for those four, uh, separate pieces, it's usually being appeared every time you fight against with the mini bosses, so, yeah, that pretty much summarizes for that such. Oh yeah, something's worth mentioning with the forms of this new mini boss fight type, such as this guy right here, that utilizes Tornado and stuff. Apparently most people found this boss fight to be kind of a worse boss fight in the game, most notably because he only does one specific thing. That's what it appears to be, he obviously summons more Tornadoes, and that's pretty much as far as this guy does. But aside from all that stuff though, he just barely does anything, so... At least as far as what some people usually just somehow manage to stumble across that issue with that boss fight. So in this case though, let's go ahead and not utilize the tornado ability yet, because... Well, I'm still missing the forms of that particular scroll for the level 3 uh, portion of that particular, well, copy ability uh, evolving stuff. But uh, again, we're pretty much going to have to save it up for later, so in this case though, let's go ahead and take down Bonkers again. In this case, Wild Bonkers, as far as, you know, trying to able to... What the heck? Okay. This is getting out of hand right here, but at least regardless of such that we did manage to able to deal with some bit of damage here and there, including with that very, very awesome, satisfying spin attack that is so fast and quick. But either way though, you get the suggestion by that point, so... So, um, yeah, aside from all that stuff, though, honestly, guys, that's as far as I can usually try and discuss upon for the sake of the forms of, uh, although, for what I've heard about the fact that since we are May, after all, this also means about the fact that eventually that Nintendo might able to actually gather the forms of the actual sales records for the sake of the forms of certain Switch titles, they've, uh, how much copies they've sold for certain Nintendo Switch games, as far as I'm concerned. But then again, though, we'll have to wait and see what happens and join at some point in the later portion of the month, so... And from here, we get ourselves another selection of those, uh, star coins, but also we get ourselves the last three of those specifically on Souls on this particular segment, so... But before we deal with all that stuff, though, let me go ahead and go here and able to find another rare stone. So, yeah, we can pretty much expect that we can be able to collect more of these, so... Including some other, uh, rare stones to get if you somehow manage to be able to get your spare time while you take a break on m the majority of the levels. But that again, though, we'll, uh, save that for later, so. Anyway, so, oh boy, we actually stumbled across this new area, which actually involves around in two boats that we need to take a ride on. And on top of all that stuff, though, I think this is where we might able to go across into... Uh, ring mouth, uh, mouthful, as far as I'm usually aware of, so, yeah, let's just go ahead and, uh, deal with certain enemies right here, so just in case we don't want to able to, you know, get far behind you and there, but, uh, you know, you totally get the idea of how, uh, how this is going, so. Also, I just found out as well, is the fact that, uh, when I was watching, uh, the Runaway Guys Let's Play, of uh, Banjo Kazooie Let's Play, that uh, I do found out that originally, that uh, I think Chucker Conroy was originally going to be able to hop onto the forms of uh, the third level, which is uh, Clanker's Cavern, but it turns out he ended up on the forms of uh, Bubblegob Swamp instead. I mean, yeah, a little bit different for a change, especially noticeable because we're relatively speaking that unlike other Let's Players out there, they obviously managed to be able to go into those worlds in the actual correct order, such as, for instance, back in the, uh, about a year ago, I suppose that Sonic has pretty much tackled for that game. That, uh, basically, he did manage to, uh, go for the actual worlds in the correct order, ranging from Mumble's Mountain and Treasure Trove Cove, Clanker's Cavern, Bubblegob Swamp, Freezy Peak, and, uh, Gorby's Valley, Mad Monster Mansion, Rusty Bucket Bay, and lastly, Click Clockwood. 
well, it's possible uh, that I'm most able to enjoy the Let's Play still. Especially noticeable because Realty speaking about the fact that I'm very curious about the fact that if they or if he come across into the forms of the worst level in the game, which is of course Rusty Bucket Bay, that uh, there's going to be a lot of frustration here and there, at least as far as I'm guessing so. Although, it's hard to predict right now because obviously that uh, at the moment he's actually still on uh, uh, Bubblegob Swamp World, so... Oh, no, 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 oh no, don't you dare try to lock me out of this. Please, don't you dare lock me out of this. Ah, oh. although I will try to do a bit of a trick that if you're trying to able to actually miss out on the forms of that particular uh, Leon soul, but either way though, let's just go ahead and grab these next three souls here, despite the fact that we only off by one left before we get five more if we try to deal with the forms of that particular boss fight, so... Oh, oh that will work, especially noticeable because I somehow took a damage and it allows me to able to jump a little bit higher, so thanks. Thanks for that. So anyways, let's go ahead and use the, the Dragon Fire ability, so just in case we can able to take down this next Phantom boss fight, which we probably already know what's going to be coming. That is, of course, Phantom King Diddy I'm pretty sure. So in this case, though, because after all, we already faced off against with uh, King Diddy uh, twice, so technically this is our third time Faces off against with King Diddy, except now he was in Phantom form. So in this case, Phantom King Diddy, he looks a lot more creepier than he forms of how it does it on his normal form. Because, I don't know about you, because it does kind of reminds me like the forms of like, let's just say a Joker or something like that. Or maybe something like Jigsaw from the likes of the Soul, uh, the Source series. Which, I definitely heard about the forms of the Source series as a result. But I've never actually watched them, mainly because it might be something is a little bit gruesome. And also, as far as I'm aware, that uh, I haven't exactly watched any of the films either, because obviously it's not my kind of thing, honestly, so... Anyways, let's go ahead and, uh, oh god, he now starts to able to utilize those shock waves every time when he does a actual specific jump stomp and stuff like that, and so... But regards to such though, when you get the hang of it though, he might not be too bad, honestly. So because of this though, now he's going to be on to the, uh, the second phase of the fight. So in this case, this time around though, not only does he get himself some, uh, uh, spiky, uh, pillars that he need, uh, pillars that we need to dodge, but also about the fact that he's still utilized with that particular pillar until he's trying to able to crush us. But, luckily, with our Forgo um, Armored Hammer, as far as we've actually equipped, so in this case though, or Masked Hammer copy ability, as far as we did somehow equipped, that means we can able to deal with the boss fights a little bit more easily, especially noticeable- Oh god! Ah! Uh, okay. Oh god, this is getting so serious. But uh, hopefully we can able to finish him off as soon as we keep on hitting him, and... Oh! Ah! Okay. Whew! That was a close call right there. Even then, though, I'm almost gonna get hit multiple times. But, either way, though, that pretty much concludes, um, you know, forego horns. So, pretty swell for this world. Especially noticeable about the fact that, well, I almost assumed that I'm almost gonna get screwed by the majority of the time for that particular... You know, the ending section of that previous segment? Well, thankfully I somehow managed to go very lucky right there after that particular multiple attempts, so... At least it did took me about a single attempt on the entire level, so let's see what we got. Phantom Chlorine right here. So yeah, that seems pretty cool for that figurine that we just got. But then again though, in order to able to get every single figurine is all about a huge emphasis on randomized, so... Anyway, so we gotta have ourselves forego Wasteland. Now, before we continue our progressioning for the sake of the forms of this entire world, I feel like I'm about to able to take a break for a moment because, um, yeah, as far as I found out, there are two levels that I somehow missed something, which is to be more specifically, those two remaining of those copy ability scrolls. So one of them involves around in the fifth world, and then the other one is actually on the sixth world. So, and we've actually got just exactly 200 of those souls. So, at the very least, that's that, I suppose. So, 
But uh, before we do anything else for this point, and that is the fact that we need to double check on something. Such as, for instance, I need to buy the life up bottle again. So just in case, if we're about to begin to the hardest aspect about the forms of, you know, uh, isolated aisles and stuff like that, that the majority of the boss fights every now and then gets a little bit slightly tougher. So, uh, no, I don't want to able to actually select it just yet though. So... In fact, I need to use that right now and try to able to buy the spare uh, life up bottle. So just in case I can able to actually just to deal with it quite easily for the sake of convenience, that is. So, and also since we actually buy something for this particular Waddle D right here, we get ourselves a freebie figurine. So in this case, we have the item shop Waddle D figure. So yeah, with that particular crown icon right there from after when you obtain the actual figurine itself, I think I should probably save that conversation until uh not next week, like I said, because obviously I get the horror I get a strong sense of feeling that uh usually we'll have to save that conversation until whenever we get to this first day, if we somehow managed able to continue for that particular uh, you know, uploading schedules on this. So in this case, let's go ahead and go into uh well, let's just say searching the oasis because I just get the feeling that uh, that'll be one of those scrolls I'm missing out. Okay, quick go right there. I'm really sorry about this point, guys, because as far as you already know, that I somehow took damage right there. But that's only mainly because I was originally going to able to do this on the first attempt, and somehow that the power cut just somehow managed to ruin my recording. So, yeah, that's the only thing. It's one kind of a screwed up thing because. Um, I did somehow manage to able to accidentally, uh, did this off screen, that if you somehow, after when you have, have obtained the actual, uh, the copy ability scroll, basically, that if you somehow pause the game and select exit stage, well, apparently you lost everything. So because of that, yeah, much like the forms of the special stage keys from the likes of Sonic Events 3, that is the fact that you can't afford to able to leave the level in during the pause menu, so you have to finish the level. So, a bit time consuming, honestly, especially noticeable about the fact that if you think some of these levels have a bit of a long time to complete, well, at least luckily though, I can usually suffice to say that um, I will have to able to beat certain levels in a quicker way fashion. Well, mind you about the fact that some most of the time though, it can be very, uh, well, it's like since I actually last played this, because I played yeah, roughly about, um, I would classify for saying it was back on Friday, specifically when uh, Nintendo Switch Sports has been first released. Speaking of Nintendo Switch Sports, actually, I've definitely heard some uh, reviews of the game, and saying about the fact that it's not perfect in comparison to the forms of how it does it on the, uh, the superior Wii Sports or Wii Sports Resort. Well, mind you, it's only mainly because of the forms of how the fact that certain stuff has been locked behind the forms of free updates coming up. And on top of all that stuff, though, it's just the fact that, well, relatively speaking, certain controls, uh, does work most of the time. Whilst most of the time, though, is the fact that, uh, usually, relatively speaking, that, uh, it's hard to explain because I, uh, watched certain, uh, gameplay footage, but, uh, it does look kind of fun. But I don't know if I can able to actually just try to get it personally, mainly because I'm more into the forms of like action adventure kind of games or something like that for that nature, so. So anyways, let's move on to this particular level right here for the final time because I somehow missing one of those um, scrolls. In this case, this will actually be the last scroll we can find until by the end of the forms of Isolated Isles Forgo Dreams that we were able to actually stumble across the final copy ability scroll throughout the whole game. So, potentially speaking though, we're not going to be able to discuss on that right now, mainly because it might actually contain certain spoiler alerts for those of you who have ever actually not played a game yet. Well, relatively speaking, that might be something worth noting for, so... But yeah, like I said before, that I was originally trying to able to explain certain things, but uh, honestly guys, uh, that's as far as I can usually try to describe about the forms of today's discussion. Although, apart from the fact that, well, relatively speaking, that uh, recently, uh, Splatoon 3 got himself this new information, like, for instance, Splatoon 3 will have all basic weapons from the previous games. 
ranging from the forms of, well, let's just say, uh, certain weapons from Splatoon 1 and certain weapons from Splatoon 2. At least if I'm okay. I haven't exactly watched that much of Splatoon uh, videos that much, mainly because, well, I was a bit tap busy and stuff like that, so... Yeah, because relatively speaking, that's as far as I can honestly try to describe about, so... Oh yeah, and apparently though, is the fact that Yagja or Yagja Naku, uh, Nika, reveals that he sued, um, Square Enix for battling Wonderworld removal, cri uh, criticized game release, a disgrace. Because it seems pretty obvious with that particular Battle in Wonderworld, I can't even believe that game has been out for about a year ago. So mind you, about the fact that that game is actually a complete utter trash, so as a result though, that pretty much explains how that uh, Battle in Wonderworld really sucks. Especially noticeable about the fact there's a good thing I'm probably not gonna get the game, just because, well, I've heard several bad things about the game, because, well, it doesn't fix a lot of issues from here. So, because it feels like everyone else doesn't really care about the game anymore, myself included, because that would be that back in the day, but, well, at least back in the forms of been 2021, is as far as I can recall, uh, it is originally going to be my most highly anticipated games, but when the game came out, though, it just all goes really, really rough, and especially noticeable about the fact that, well, the game suffered as a result, so... Which can also apply on the forms of in one of those uh, multi-platform games, such as, for instance, with, uh, uh, let's just say, Epic Mickey 2, The Power of 2, like... Um, uh, yeah, that's as far as I can usually think about it, like... Could be ranging from the forms of in, uh, let's just say, uh, humorous bugs and hiccups, and also, uh, the camera might be a still pain in the butt, especially noticeable after the events of that. Epic Mickey, the first game, seemed to have a lot of camera problems, and also you have to rely on the forms of Oswald's artificial intelligence, which, if you probably, um, yeah, ignore that little phone tone, but that's only made by flying through, uh, Sonic the Hedgehog 1 on, uh, my iPhone at the moment. Stinger's Intelligence is about to be releasing until, uh, not long, not long now, actually, until, uh, let's say about a month and, uh, a couple of days to go to, so... Yeah, that pretty much explains it from here, so... So anyways though, so uh, let's just go ahead and uh, find the actual scroll here. So I get the strong sense of feeling it's gonna be... ...somewhat down right there, so there we go. But yeah, because usually most of the time, whenever I first played this level, and then uh, whenever I was trying to find that particular scroll, and I was like, well, I have to be honest, I did miss a few times until I noticed that particular hole that has been underneath on that particular, just before you hop into that particular roller coaster segment, which for the longest time, I could have sweared there was actually going to be on the next level or something like that. But, uh, nope, it's just about the fact that sometimes it can be very confusing at times if you're trying to find it, so... Yeah, I have honestly have no words to say, so... But yeah, with that being said, though, I think that's as far as I can discuss upon for this point, guys. Although, again, I would have wished if I would like to mention about the forms of other discussions worth noting for, but... That again, though, I'm pretty sure that both, or... In this case, Pac-Man, Raid the Flying Squirrel, and uh, Mighty the Armadillo have already mentioned about a lot of topics based off from the Simpsons Hit and Run Let's Play. So, uh, yeah, you pretty much expect how this is going. So, uh, yeah, that pretty much explains it for the sake of how, um, you know, certain stuff has been happening. So, anyway, so that pretty much concludes the regular levels. So, I have to revisit due to the forms of that particular certain scrolls I need to find. But, uh, Luckily, though, we've managed to accomplish that now, so we can able to actually just to move along, so... Although, exponentially speaking, before we're able to end off the video right there, uh, first things first, though, we need to uh, head back into Waddle D Town quickly, so just in case we can able to take care of the forms of those specific upgrades for, uh, uh let's just say, buddy forms of the last Cutter ability, along with the forms of the final Tornado ability, so at the very least, we could be all set and done for the sake of the forms of the weapon shop and stuff like that, so... So yeah, we can probably do that in a second, so because of that though, we can able to actually just do it right now. 
Oh, and also, as far as I'm aware, is the fact that, although despite having double-checked on my uh, Xbox One for such a long time, mind you, because of uh, how the fact that I'm still practically waiting for, uh, you know, I mean, Sonic Origins to come out for uh, digital uh, services and stuff like that, for the sake of trying to able to pre-order the game and stuff like that, well, it's hard to explain. But yeah, and hopefully we were able to actually access to some more of those, uh, you know what I mean with the forms of Treasure Road segments here and there. So, uh, and speaking of Treasure Roads throughout the majority of the game, it seems that we've almost done here, although despite the fact that we are pretty much almost nearly at the end of the entire game. So because of that though, I can't really tell of how much percentage I'm, at, I'm on, because, well, relatively speaking, I don't usually pause the game as much, because... Well, the only time I only see the actual percentage uh, going up is the fact that if I somehow take a break on the game, or to be more specifically, if I take a break on certain recording sessions. So, yeah, every now and then now is the fact that we can now able to actually access to uh, specific uh, treasure roads. Although, um, here's the thing about what this is, is the fact that I was originally trying to able to actually do the uh, those two specific uh, treasure roads to tackle through. But I think I might actually decide able to save it for later because I've almost gone into the forms of an hour uh, recording mark. So in this case though, I think I should probably save that until for later because, well, as far as I'm aware, that we're pretty much almost running out of time for the sake of the forms of that particular commentary and stuff like that for the sake of this point today. So, yeah, you get the idea of how this is going to able to represent, especially noticeable that, you know, like I said, we're almost done with this game. So... Oh, and by the way, I do apologize for my commentary gets all a bit slightly glitched up and stuff like that. Again, because of the forms of power of fact, you hear my uh, commentary voice gets a bit stuttered every once in a while. Once again, my laptop is getting slower and laggy at the same time. So I definitely need to fix that, assuming I'm doing at some point on Thursday. So with that being said though, yeah, we got the endings off at this point right here, I'm afraid guys. So join me next time for more of Let's Play of Kirby and a Forgotten Land. And that is the fact that we're gonna head back onto the forms of Isolated Isles for Go Dreams. So I'll see you guys on Thursday. Later fellas.